Hi everyone, we've got um, two examples of the 500 type telephone as used in America. The one on the right is by Stromberg Carlson and the one on the left Northern Telecom. The only one difference, the one we're looking at now was never used in America or Canada as it's Northern Telecom but was used in Southern Ireland. There are some subtle differences which we will have a look at but basically it is a standard 500 type telephone but been modified to be used in Ireland which uh, turn that off which was um, wired similar to the uh, the British T um, the British telephones back to the Stromberg Carlson I've taken the dials off I was going to show it with all with the case on and everything but it was difficult as I say with one hand but another hand would be all right uh, anyhow let's have a closer look um, here as I say this is the one from Ireland and inside the actual phone itself you've got your your mark in there 100 CB mark 902 TX 4458 500 mentioned there to obviously the type COB Northern Telecom and it's dated 81 so this one's 81 another interesting thing the bell has only got one coil it's possibly a thousand ohm coil there's just got the one coil unlike the American versions which have got more than one coil used for various types of ringing party lines and and the such also the network arrangement is different to what they are or made later where they're all sealed in uh, this network's virtually open with some of the connections being under a, a little cover and also being of that age it's not a modular version by modular I mean you had the, the lead would have had a little plug on it and also the handset which this one doesn't anyhow if you have a look at the dial this is the typical Northern Telecom dial it's got on there then we can see it you've got the type number presumably QDB but underneath that you've got Northern Telecom made in Canada and 79 I tell a lie 1970 so although I said it was 81 the actual dial is 1970 just check that again yep 1970 so I would think that this phone was made in 70 and when it was issued to Ireland PT and PNT it became 81 a few years difference but not to worry as I look at the back and have a look at this dial it's a uh, quite a good good dial you've got your range of wheels in there your governor which is typical of the American style of dial you'll notice on the other dial it's slightly different but it's basically the same 
here we've got 84 so I don't know what's going on but it definitely says in the metal printing the date I said and it's got 84 there we got 81 down below so your guess is, is as good as mine if we turn this over you can see it's exactly the same uh, chassis as the American versions I keep saying American versions this is a American or, or North American type of phone the 500 which was a very well made phone um, going back a few years now and showing my age now let's turn him over and see what it says what it says Sorry if I'm making a bit of a pig's ear of that. Yeah, you got on there. Someone's written about it. In, in the case, it's got made in Canada. Bell 1K ohm. So I don't know who wrote that. I don't think I wrote it, but that would be about right. 1,000 ohms. Made in Canada. You've got your regulator for the loudness and softness of the bell. And once again, you've got the same uh, remarks as what is written inside. Interesting to note the way the case was kept on. I'm not making a mess here is by two screws one there and one there which are captive you can't lose them and this is the case and you see it goes into a, a, um, a brass insert not straight into the plastic have a little look at that one it's the same which is a good thing standard case In that case you you could use it any anywhere on whether it be in Ireland or in America on the case you've got Northern Tele, uh, Northern Telecom Patented 58 1970. That's what's written down there. Sorry if it's in the shade. That should show up. So you've got your normal case. The handset. G type, which I think is, is what they call these. Northern Telecom. So if you were living in Ireland on the telephone this is the instrument you would have I don't know if the English style of phones were used over there they may have been I'm not sure but the wiring was similar to the English way of doing it where your bell or your bell cords were in series and the phones were connected in parallel that's the easiest way of saying it this is when it was that they were hardwired not the modular type so that's all I've got to say on the also the dial itself it's just got numbers it's got the typical American style of dial with your with the position of the stop to give you a maximum in into digital pause unlike some of the American ones where it's shorter but there we are 81 83 70 take your pick and choose let's go over to the Stromberg Carlson now Stromberg Carlson was one of the makers which supplied phones in America to the independent companies 
it wasn't un, under the bell or the west or, or western electric one or two companies like this made the problem they were the phones were exactly the same I say exactly the same looking at them they did look the same there may be some subtle differences inside now as I mentioned the bell coil has more than one winding this is to do with the different types of ringing which was experienced in America in England party lines was just two depending on which line to earth to ring the bell but in America it was done differently some of it was done by the number of rings uh, the different way the bell w was connected not going to go much too much in that um, anyhow there's the network on this one which is completely op open which is not like they are now normally the network is completely encased with your terminals on the top I didn't realize it was the open type but it is and looking at the dial very similar and 79 so they're similar age this one's got a plastic cover on which I won't take off basically the same type of dial the regulator is on the top part but it's basically the same now you've got your all your contacts going out which are hard wired onto the network itself unfortunately I haven't got a diagram of this I could probably find one some somewhere that must exist um, looking at another date inside it's amazing how many dates do appear and on the bell itself it's 79 so which which corresponds to what's on the dial so I'd say this is phone made in 79 I was talking about the case horrible why they couldn't have spent a matter of pence to put in a nice brass insert they didn't so you had like a self tapping screw which would cut its own way in to put the cover on hoping hoping that you wouldn't have to take the cover off loads of times but there we are that's what they did and you've got your switch, switch hooks with your contacts which is the same as the other one let's have a little look at the base at the other side of the base right side there we've got SC Strom Carlson Stromberg Carlson 500 that's the type of phone DQM 79 again it's had a final inspection sorry about the twisty call being a bit grubby as I say some of these phones I haven't had a look at for a very long time it's just that I'm doing a bit of sorting out I'm keeping my mind occupied um, as as you know from what I said yesterday I'm a bit worried about what is happening in the world and one way of trying to forget it is to keep active and do a bit more work I want to get down the greenhouse which it gets a bit warmer I should have a chance soon so that's what what is happening here I'm also trying out for the second time the new battery in my camera and it seems to be okay it's two 
two lines left so it's still charged up and oh I'm going to show you the dial this is the typical North American or American Canadian dial showing letters and numbers your operator there for the O funny enough on some of the Canadian phones on the Dawn example the, you don't get the word operator you just get an O and it's something to do with the two languages French or English so you just get the O but on this one which is not Canadian but even if it was it would still have operator as far as I know anyhow I think that's all I've got to say on there thanks again for all the comments made on the last video uh, particularly the person was talking about that uh, Dutch well I think it's a Dutch phone but it may be that it's in, in fact Belgium but um, there's there some good information there it seems it is slightly unusual as I said, to be quite honest, I'm not sure what I've got and what I haven't got. Um, it's just a case of sorting the stuff out and putting it up and giving it a little talk. If I made any mistakes, it may be on purpose. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, yeah, I'm, I've finished rabbiting. And um, yeah, I put these phones back together put them back in the cupboard and hopefully we will take it from there thanks again for watching any comments please make as I say any comments that have been made many many thanks I find this is the easiest way of doing it rather than writing it I'm not a lazy so-and-so but um, I find this is the easiest way of doing it anyhow thanks again thank you